Welcome to Chapter 7, Standard Instrument Departure Charts. In this chapter, we will go through the specification of NavBlue SID charts with any key differences to the Jefferson charts. If the aerodrome has approximately more than 10 pages, then NavBlue will create an index page. It should be placed first in the SID chapter with a page number of 30-0-1. The order will be the runway order starting with the lowest. The SID chart shall contain communication information, a descriptive chart with descriptive text. If official departure procedures do not have designators, then the chart shall be called departure routes. SID charts may contain several SIDs on one chart. Chart can be produced in either portrait or landscape. Communications will be shown in order and the chart will be drawn to scale. A non compulsory flyby waypoint with an altitude restriction. Note coordinates for waypoint will be shown on all SID charts. The main procedure lines with terminating arrows. SID designators will be shown along a segment on the procedure. If available, the FMS code will also be published. Procedure line with magnetic heading and distance. Distances will be shown in decimals. If the official distance is more than 30 nautical miles, nav blue will round to the nearest whole value. For the SID title, RNAV SIDs will be before conventional SIDs. The transition altitude and aerodrome elevation are in feet. The charts will be produced to scale whenever possible. Notes will be shown in the floating boxes, usually positioned at the top right hand corner of the chart. NavBlue will show the exact values of altitudes when published by the state. Please familiarise yourself with the presentation of altitudes. The SID text contains detailed routing for your required SID, identifying any speeds or altitudes on each waypoint. The text description will be produced only if it is published officially. The text will be in a table consisting of columns with a heading. The heading may vary depending on the procedure. Text information common for all parts of the procedure, such as notes, speeds, noise abatement and communications can be included in a box above the SID text that is not depicted on this chart. NavBlue will present minimum climb gradients only if the minimum climb gradient is more than 3.3%. It can be shown either in the SID text description, in a note box or in a floating box. As previously mentioned in general, ComFail could be found in the text pages. If the ComFail is relevant to the particular procedure, then the ComFail will be found on the SID chart. In this slide, you can familiarise yourself with the difference between the Jefferson and NavBlue SID chart. The minimum sector altitudes, MSA, will be shown in the lower right hand corner of the chart.
NavBlue will draw their charts to scale as far as possible. For areas where the scale is distorted, geographical background information will be removed, leaving a white space as shown at the top left hand corner of the NavBlue chart. If the whole chart is not to scale, a text box after aerodrome elevation will be inserted with the words chart not to scale. NavBlue will present altitudes within the SID text description for that routing. As previously mentioned, restricted, danger and prohibited areas will only be shown when they penetrate a procedure. If all procedures from a runway are shown, then NavBlue will call the chart SID Runway 31 instead of highlighting every procedure name. For an at or above altitude, NavBlue will show the altitude with a line underneath it.